So you're expecting to get top dollar for the sale of your home, but you don't know how you're gonna find your next home in this low inventory, extremely competitive housing market. Well, in this video, I'm gonna go over three strategies you can use to sell and buy your next home, as well as go over the pros and cons of each. The first strategy is to sell your home and then to buy a home. So the pro of this strategy is that as the seller, you're gonna have a better chance finding a buyer that's willing to be flexible and wait for you to find the house that you want to buy if that if that is a contingency that you want to have right um, and then on the buying side you're going to be able to make an offer with your home already already being under contract and only just the financing contingency and then the goal is once you have your home sold and you have the home that you want to buy you'll coordinate uh, with your real estate agent to have that close on the same date now the cons of this strategy is that you know, it might take you a while to find the house that you want to buy or if you have a property that you're looking to buy that's your dream home that's very unique and very difficult to find this may not be the best strategy but again that just depends on what you're looking for also having to have your home show ready all the time when people are coming to look at your house versus you know if you were to move to your home first to the home that you want to buy and then you would focus on selling your home um, that's just something you have to keep in mind and then the other negative is if the person that's buying your house, if their financing falls through and you depend on your home selling for you to buy your next home, that can also be not fun to, to have to deal with. The second strategy is to buy a home and then sell your home. This is the easiest strategy if the purchase of the home you're buying is not contingent on you selling your home. And the biggest benefit of that is that you can move into your home, get settled in, and then focus on selling your home. Now the con of this strategy is that if you buy your home and then your home takes longer to sell, you may end up with having two mortgages for you know longer than you may want. So that's, that's the only con of, of this uh, strategy. Now if you wanna buy a house and then sell yours, but the purchase of your home is contingent on your home selling, the biggest disadvantage with that, especially in this market, is that the seller of the house that you're buying they're not gonna wanna take the risk of you having to sell your home. They don't know how long it's gonna take um, and they, they just don't want to have to deal with that, especially if they have other buyers interested in their homes and in their home and there are multiple offers. Now, sometimes what buyers in this situation will do is they'll put an offer that's contingent on their home selling in the future, but they'll maybe offer a higher price, right? And so the seller might be able to take on more risk if it's higher price but then you also have to keep in mind that that price that has to appraise so sellers don't don't like that either uh, so unless you can do um, or fill in an appraisal gap where you'll pay uh, the difference if it doesn't appraise that might help you but usually if you're gonna buy a home it's better that either you don't have a home to sell or that it is already under contract so this strategy is usually best for people that want to buy a house without having to make it contingent on their home selling. The third strategy is to sell your home, find temporary living, whether that means you move in with family, you rent, your Airbnb, and then you find a house to buy. The pros of this strategy is that you don't have to worry about the sale of your home or making that a contingency when making an offer on a house. Uh, you will also have the proceeds of the home that you sold, so that way you know how much money you can count on. You don't have the uncertainty of knowing whether or not you're gonna find the house uh, before your home sells. And then the other nice thing is you can maximize the sale of your house. A lot of times when sellers are selling their homes and then looking for a home to buy, they may not pick the highest offer or best offer because um, they're picking an offer that has a buyer that's more willing to be flexible with them and work with them. So maybe they're, you know, profiting less from the sale because they also have to worry about the house they're gonna buy so in this case you don't have to worry about that you can find the house you, you can take the the offer uh, from the house that's gonna give you the highest profit and then you can worry about buying the house and finding the house later the most obvious con and the biggest one is that you have to move twice right so when you sell your home and then if you are renting or moving in with family then after that, you, when, once you buy your house and you gotta move again. Um, the other thing is you might be locked into a lease if you lease or you know living with family, maybe that might not be the best uh, case scenario for you. So these are some of the cons, but again, this is a, a really good strategy. It's the easiest one, but 
Uh, just something, some things to consider. Some bonus tips are make sure that you work with a professional real estate agent who can really guide you and give you the best recommendations for your situation as to which strategy you should use. And then also start early. It's never too early to start getting your home ready, start doing a little packing, putting some things away. Um, the earlier you start and the more proactive you are, especially if you have kids or you have a busy life, the better and the smoother process you're gonna have. Now I'm curious, from these three strategies, which one do you think would work best for you in your situation? Write it on the comments below. And if you have any questions or wanna reach out to me, I'm never too busy, feel free to give me a call, text message, or email me, and I look forward to talking to you.